Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you or we'll be discussing with you how to change Verizon router to 2.4 gigahertz. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. Let's get started. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to log in into your router. Now, you want to open up any browser here on a device like a laptop or anything here that's already connected to your Verizon network. Now, you want to type in your router's IP. Now, usually it's going to be 192.168.1.1 and then sign in with your admin username or password here. Now, if the address before does not work for you, you may need to check underneath or you may need to check your manual here and see what's the proper address. But yeah, so once you are logged in, this takes you into the router's control panel where all the Wi-Fi settings actually is located. Now, next is you want to head over into your Wi-Fi settings. Now, from then on, you want to look for the section labeled as Wi-Fi settings or something wireless or something similar to that. Uh, usually, it may be under the advanced tab. So this is where you can manage the broadcast settings for your different Wi-Fi bands. Now, inside the Wi-Fi or broadband settings here, you'll see options for both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now, make sure the, uh, to, enable uh, to enable the switch next to the 2.4 gigahertz section and that's what's allow your router to broadcast the 2.4 gigahertz signal which is especially useful for smart home gadgets and older devices. Now, if you want, if you only want your router running on 2.4 GHz, you maybe, because you're setting up a device that doesn't support 5 GHz, you can go ahead and toggle the off button or the switch on the 5 GHz option here to turn it off. Now, otherwise, you can leave both bands running side by side. It doesn't necessarily affect each other, so you're pretty much good here. Now, after you've made the adjustment, scroll down and hit the save or apply button. The router may refresh or take a moment here to apply your changes, so just give it a little time. Now finally, just grab a device here that uses 2.4 GHz, maybe a smart plug or a older, an older phone here, and see if it detects your Wi-Fi network. Now if it connects without issue, you'll know the 2.4 GHz band is active and ready to go. And that's about it. So if you found this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.